Good afternoon, YouTubers. Uh, today I have something really special to show you. Uh, Chris has been working on this for the last week for me and finally got it up and going. Uh, there was a problem with the uh, pinch roller in that it's all dried up and whatnot. But uh, being somewhat innovative, I just took that pinch roller out and I grabbed one from an 8-track cartridge, which happened to be the right diameter, although not quite the right height. But nonetheless, it did the trick. So at least it's, it sounds smooth now anyhow. I'll send the pinch roller out. This is a Bell Model 404. It is a sound tape cassette uh, deck. It's strictly playback and it plays only at seven and a half inches per second. It does not record whatsoever. So this is the exterior. I'll just give you a quick walkabout here. And now we're going to lift the lid. The lid is a spring load and there's our cartridge inside there. We're going to be playing uh, a tune from the Yellow Bird. Uh, it's uh, part of Lawrence Welk's uh, lineup here. You'll notice the controls now. We have an on-off control, so it's on on one side, off on the other, and a very simple control here, fast, neutral, and play. And that's it. Now this was not designed for recording as I said, and um, it has a <laughs> It has to tell you in the instruction book that if you need to rewind the tape, you have to turn the tape over and run it in the fast forward mode to rewind the tape. So it's kind of a funky uh, tape deck, but it's an outstanding sounding tape deck. On the front here we have left volume control, right volume control, your bass control, treble control, and we can select from phono, tape, or auxiliary through the back. There are inputs for that. And this features a 10 tube amp, so it's a rather outstanding piece. It sounds really magnificent. Um, it has a, a preamp in it, of course, so that you can use a, um, a magnetic cartridge with a, with a um, uh, record player if you wanted to. But we're just going to play one tune here. Again, this is a Model 404. It's kind of rare. These just don't often show up. And um, in fact, this is the first and only one I've seen, and this one was pretty nasty. If you look at Chris Cuff's videos, uh, you'll get to see some of the work that had to have been done to it. I mean, all the rubber motor mounts are gone. Um, this thing was, uh, uh, I'd say, heavily used or abused, however you want to put it, in a studio. The uh, tape head itself was totally shot, so we had to replace the tape head in it. I should say, Chris replaced the tape head for me in it. And um, of course we had to put uh, new tubes and all the tubes were all shot. In fact it didn't come with any tubes at all. I had to buy some tubes for it. And like I said there's 10 tubes in this thing. So it's uh, got stereo cars, left and right channels and uh, there are a pair of uh, 6AQ5s in, in uh, push-pull configuration here on each side. So let's go ahead and uh, flip this on and play a tune.
play one more tune. We'll, we'll do it successively here. Shut that off, and uh, so there it is—a rather rare piece of Bell Model 404. Again, it is a tape deck uh, play only. There is no record uh, available on this, and only a single speed, the seven and a half inches per second. But it is nice in that it has a super duper amplifier inside there. It is a stereo amplifier, and uh, you, you'd be able to put in your phonograph and uh, perhaps uh, an AM/FM. Um, tuner if you wanted to or whatever you wanted as an auxiliary and uh, there it is a beautiful piece and notice that it has beautiful lighting in the front that's, that's what excites me a little bit so I hope you enjoyed seeing something different again um, and I want to thank Chris for putting this together for me we're going to send the pinch roller out and I'm going to have that set up we still have just the slight little warble in this thing but a heck of a lot better than it was with the original pinch roller in it there it is have a great day